Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong. I am in the upper Calder Valley today and I'm actually on one of the old pack horse bridges in Hebden Bridge and we're going to have a look around Hebden Bridge today. So there seems to be a bit of a gap in the rain. I don't know how long that's going to last. So in today's vlog, we're going to talk about a couple of things that I've purchased to go towards my lightweight camping gear for my coast to coast, of course. And it's all thanks to your advice. Now, Hebden Bridge is located right on the confluence point of two rivers, the River Calder and Hebden Water, I think it's called. And that is the confluence point right there behind me. You can see where the two rivers join. And uh, that makes uh, Hebden Bridge really susceptible to flooding. And we're going to have a look at some of the effects of that flooding today. Now, because of the high-sided valley that Hebden Bridge sits in, there's water coming into this village from every direction. Now, the residents of Hebden Bridge haven't even yet recovered from Storm Kira, which was about four days ago. And we've got Storm Dennis on the way now, and they're bracing themselves for that. And thankfully, there's been a little bit of a gap now in the rain, but I'm sure it's going to come back. And it all depends. I mean, we're on the canal here, so the canal sort of level doesn't change too much. It is quite full, but as you could see over on the river, it is really swollen. And it depends on how much more rain we're going to get. And up in the uh, moors there, it's really saturated. So any rain that does fall is going to come straight down here. Now, I did say I was going to let you know a couple of things that I've purchased for my lightweight solo wild camping gear that I'll be using on my coast to coast. And the first thing that I've purchased that I discovered that I'd really need is a head torch. So I've got one of them and I went for a more expensive brand. Can't really pronounce it. Maybe I'll put it on screen somewhere, but I'll put a link to it in the description below. And I went for the one with the rechargeable battery because I think that'll be handy. So yeah, that'll come in really handy when I'm in the tent because there's no other way of doing it. You do need your, both your hands free and it's got an adjustable angle and it has a red light on it. It's got everything on it. So I'm really happy with that purchase. But I don't think there's any way of looking anything other than stupid when you've got a head torch on. But there's gonna be no one out there but you and I. Just look at all this water coming into Hebden Bridge. I'm so pleased for the locals that it has actually stopped raining. I hope it doesn't start again. We've had a good look around and I think they might just get away with this uh, storm Dennis. It might not be as bad as Kira. So uh, fingers crossed for them. Now all this water of course is what powered and uh, put, uh, put Hebden Bridge right on the map. They were so famous back in the Industrial Revolution back in the 1900s. Uh, they were so famous worldwide for their uh, cloth manufacture, the Hebden Bridge was actually known as Trouser Town. So I'm gonna go for a little coffee now, and then I'm gonna tell you about my other purchase. I hope you can hear me with all the water behind. Now, someone asked, do I ever vlog without my hat on? And the simple answer is very rare because it uh, actually keeps my head nice and warm. But just to let you know that uh, my head doesn't just stop here, uh, there you go. I hope that's working for you, but uh, it's not really working for me. So I'm gonna put my hat back on. It's a bit cold here. So I hope that's working for you. My head does actually go to the top of the hat. <laughs> look at this cobbled road behind me. Look how steep it is. Looks absolutely fantastic. And there's a lot of that here in Hebden Bridge. It's a lovely place to visit, especially in the summertime. Now, the other purchase that I've made, I've made another purchase that I want to tell you about. And I made the decision to buy this based on looking at your uh, videos, your vlogs, your reviews, and your recommendations. So I thank you for that. I've been reaching out to you guys for help with all my gear, and so far you haven't let me down. I almost forgot to tell you what the actual item was then, didn't I? Well, I've realized that the backpack that I have been using, which is great, it, and that is the, uh, the Osprey Hike Light 32, uh, that's gonna be way too small. So I've had to get a new backpack. And the one that I've chosen is the Osprey again, because fantastic backpacks, uh, Osprey Exos 58. 
Now I hope I've made the right choice there because it's based on advice from you guys as I said. So that backpack should be arriving in a few days and I can't wait for it to arrive. I've got no idea how much the things are going to weigh when I've got everything in the backpack that I need. I've got no idea how much it's going to weigh. So, uh, but what I do know is I've lost, over the last two weeks, I've lost nearly six pound in weight off my own body. So that's gonna help, isn't it? <laughs> so how much does your solo wild camping kit weigh? All your camera gear included as well. I'm really interested to know how yours will compare to mine when I've got mine all together in my new backpack. So let me know in the comments section below how much your solo wild camping backpack weighs and then I can make a good comparison to mine and see if I've got maybe too much gear in there. But the backpack that I've got coming very soon and I will show it to you when it comes is pretty big. The 58 litre is pretty big and I'm looking forward to getting it. So I was just walking past the canal back there and I spotted a purse down on the floor just like down there. And, uh, and it was bone dry, I knew it had just been dropped. I picked it up and I uh, asked a local lady where the police station was or the post office, we're gonna take it there. And just as I was doing that, a lady came running around the corner in a bit of a panic and it was obviously her purse and I gave it to her. So I did my good deed here in Hebden Bridge as well. So I asked that lady if she would subscribe. I hope you've subscribed. So I'm just waiting for this uh, bad weather to get out of the way. A couple of storms are having storm Dennis's on the way, but I don't think it's gonna pose any problems really for Hebden Bridge. It looks like the river's gonna stay at about this level. It's pretty full, but it hasn't actually breached the uh, banks. So I think they're gonna be okay. Now, when the rest of my uh, solo wild camping gear has arrived and the weather has got better, I'll be way out of my comfort zone again doing the solo wild camping and I really need to get used to this before September and that's when I will be doing the coast to coast. So I have enjoyed my visit to uh, Trouser Town aka Hebden Bridge and I hope you have too. Your company has been much appreciated or of course I would have been all by myself. If you have enjoyed this vlog consider subscribing for notifications of my next ones. I upload a vlog every week, so if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.